Let's talk about properties of alkali. Alkali, different alkalis have different properties, but we are talking about the property of the group alkali. Now, property can be divided into two types. One is called physical property, another is called pro chemical property. In physical property, in physical property, we have to uh, see that what is the color, color, order, taste, density, color, order, taste, density, state of matter, all this comes under the physical property of the substance. That's why if we are talking about the physical property of alkali, we'll talk about this matter. Not more than this. Uh, now, let's start. What are the physical properties of alkali? If we are asked about this, then we can say that it is sharp. It has sharp and bitter taste. It has sharp and bitter taste. Bitter taste. One important physical property. Now, another I am writing only keywords. We, I am not writing the long sentence because we have less time to understand many things. That's why they effect on indicator. They have effect on indicator. Effect on indicator. First, we have to understand what is indicator. Actually, indicators are the chemical substances which gives a particular color in acidic and alkaline solution. That's why indicators are used to uh, identify whether the given solution is acid or base. And normally there are three uh, indicators which are widely used in laboratory. One is litmus and another is methyl orange. And another is phenolphthalein. These are the indicators which are commonly used in laboratory to identify whether the given solution is acidic solution or alkaline solution. Okay. Now, how can these indicators identify an alkali? Litmus paper changes red litmus into it may be in the form of paper or it may be in the form of solution whatever it is red litmus changes to blue in alkali and methyl orange gives yellow color in alkali but phenolphthalein gives gives pink color in alkali this way actually uh, Alkalis have effect on indicator. Litmus gives red, uh, red uh, converse red to blue. Methyl orange gives yellow color. Phenolphthalein gives pink color in alkali. Now we can say another point also in physical property that is, it is it is soapy. It is soapy, or we can say slippery to toss. Slippery to toss. What it mean? Uh, if we have alkali, just for example, sodium hydroxide, one alkali, another potassium hydroxide. If we have this alkali, sodium hydroxide, I think you have seen in laboratory also, it is available in the form of small pebbles. And when these small pebbles are uh, placed in, uh, on a, uh, in a wash glass and uh, after a few minutes, we can see its surface is moistened. And uh, if we touch it, then we can feel it like a soap. That's why uh, we can say that it is soapy or slippery to toss. This is another physical property. Now, another one we can say, we can say that they are strong electrolyte. Strong electrolyte. 
Now, do you know what is electrolyte? Electrolyte means uh, the solution of the compound which conduct electricity. And that's why there are strong electrolytes which conduct electricity. Which conduct which conduct electricity. And uh, why they conduct electricity? Actually, all the alkalis uh, are identified by hydroxyl ions. Just for example, sodium hydroxide, when dissolves in water, it gives sodium ion, which is electropositive ion, and another is electronegative ion. And this is the identity of alkali, what? Hydro, it gives hydroxyl ion. In the same way, potassium hydroxide, when dissolves in water, then it gives potassium ion and hydroxyl ion. Look at this hydroxyl ion. In the same way, ammonium hydroxide gives what? Ammonium ion and what? Hydroxyl ion. There's other also calcium hydroxide. These are the alkali which gives calcium ion in aqueous solution along with hydroxyl ion. This way, what can we see? Uh, uh, you are pre previously taught that alkali means the soluble bases are called alkali. Soluble bases are called alkali which gives hydroxyl ion in the aqueous solution as only uh, the negatively charged ion. That's why it, it acts as a strong electrolyte because it ionizes in water. And if a compound ionizes in water, then it can conduct electricity. That's why uh, it is a strong electrolyte. We can represent these properties of alkali as the physical properties of alkali. Okay, this must be today.